My name is Sean Schaffner and I'm a teaching artist and this is Literacy Through Art with Arts for All. <laughs> In this series, we are learning to write our own stories using a classic fairy tale as our inspiration. This is video five of five, writing our own Cinderella story. Video five. Artists express their feelings. It's good to be with you today. At Arts for All, we are all artists. Artists create things to express their feelings and ideas. Artist, how are you feeling today? It's helpful to check in with our heart and notice how we're feeling. Let's listen to the feelings in our heart and take a breath together. In, out. Did you find a word for your feeling? Let's express that feeling with a sound and a gesture. For example, I'm feeling creative, so I'm going to make this sound and gesture. Ooh. What's a sound and gesture to express your feeling? Great. Thank you for expressing yourself, artist. Let's get ready to write. You are a very creative artist, and you can write stories. In this series, we've been hearing Cinderella stories from all over the world. First, we heard the story of Cendrillon from France, then we met Yeshen from China, and then Beacon, or Little Bigfoot, from Ireland. And in the last video, we heard a Cinderella story from different countries all over the world. Setting, character, and plot help to make any story. In a Cinderella story, the settings and characters can change, but the plot stays basically the same. It's almost always a story about someone treated unkindly who, with some magical help and a lost piece of footwear, finds true love. You are a very creative artist and you can write stories. So let's write and draw a new Cinderella story now. Take a moment now to get 8 to 15 pieces of paper or envelopes from the junk mail or anything you can write on. A pencil, some markers, whatever else you like. We've got six pages in all. You might also want some pages for notes, or you might want one page for drawing and another for writing. When you're ready to go, let's start drafting our story. Drafting our own Cinderella story. Here's our first panel. See all those red words? Those are words that we might replace with our own ideas. Once upon a time, all over the world, there was a kind and beautiful young woman who lived with her mean stepmother and two mean, ugly stepsisters. They made her do all the housework and treated her badly. Because she slept in the fire cinders, they called her Cinderella. Now I'm going to record my answers in my notes here and then put them all in at the end. You might use a separate sheet of paper just for notes. Let's fill in our first blank. Where do you want your story to be set? We saw stories that took place in France, China, Ireland, and all over the world. You could also set your story in a swamp, or a chocolate chip factory, or in your school or your house. Now, once we know the where, when is it happening? Is your story set in the past, in the present, or the future? Do we need to know the season or anything else? As we go along, you can make your answers as simple or as detailed as you like. For our example, I'm going to share with you a version created by real second graders in New York City. These second graders wanted our story set in a skyscraper in New York City. All right, the next blank is for our main character. Who might be your poorly treated Cinderella? Use description words to help your audience imagine this person. Are they kind and beautiful like Cendrillon or Yeshen? Are they a brave boy like Beacon? Or maybe your main character is a furry elephant. <laughs> our second graders just said, girl. Now who is the villain? And do they have mean helpers? All our stories so far have featured cruel stepmothers, but we've seen one, two, or three stepsisters. You could also make the villain a, a boss at work, or a mean teacher, or a neighborhood bully. And if you did, who might be their helpers? Our second graders decided on a stepfather and three mean, ugly step siblings. That means brothers and sisters or any combination of those. What's the work that the mean folks make your main character do? They might have to cook and clean or whatever else your villain and their helpers don't want to do. 
Our second graders decided that she would clean the whole building inside and out. You'll notice that I've highlighted every place where our story says she or her. If your story is not about a young woman, remember to change those to he or they or whatever makes sense for your story. How does your main character get their name? Cinderella slept in the cinders, thus Cinderella, and Beacon's stepfamily called him Little Bigfoot because of his big feet. What do the villains tease your main character about with the nickname? Our second graders decided that since she lived and cleaned this skyscraper, she would be called Skyrella. Now I'm going to take all my notes and put them into the story. Pause the video if you want to write out this whole paragraph for yourself with your ideas filling in the blanks. Then let's read our example. Once upon a time in a skyscraper in New York City, there was a girl who lived with her mean stepfather and three mean, ugly step siblings. They made her clean the whole building inside and out and treated her badly. Because she lived in a skyscraper, they called her Skyrella. I may want to go back and make changes, so I'm going to consider this a draft for now and wait to draw my pictures until the end. You can do that too, or if you like, you can pause the video and draw a picture now. Then let's move on to our second section. One day, the great king announced that he was searching for a queen at a big event. The young woman wanted to go, but her stepmother told her she couldn't and made her work hard instead. First, we have to decide who our Cinderella will meet and what is the happy ending that they're going to have together. It could be romantic, with a prince or princess searching for a royal partner, like in many of the stories we've read, but it could also be that this new character is looking for a good friend, or maybe it's someone who gives our Cinder person a job or makes them famous. What are you thinking? Our second graders decided that it would be Janet Jackson and that she was searching for backup dancers. And what's the big event where this person might be looking? It could be a ball or a dance party like in Cendrillon or a spring festival like in Yeshen. Maybe it's an ice skating party or a pool party. What are you thinking? Our second graders decided that it would be a concert at Madison Square Garden. What is the work that our villain makes our cinder person do instead of going to the big event? Cendrillon had to dress her sisters. Yeshen had to guard the fruit trees. Beacon had to fight a giant. What task might your cinder person have to do? Our second graders made her fix everything that was broken in the skyscraper. Pause the video if you want to write out this whole paragraph for yourself with your ideas. Then let's read our example. One day, Janet Jackson announced that she was searching for a backup dancer at a concert at Madison Square Garden. The young woman wanted to go, but her stepfather told her she couldn't and made her fix everything that was broken in the skyscraper instead. Feel free to pause now if you want to draw or keep revising. Then, thanks to some magical helpers, the young woman got beautiful clothes, dainty footwear, and a ride to the big event. Who is going to help your cinder person? We've seen fairy godmothers, magical fish and their bones, a magic bull, and so many others. It might also be that your helper isn't magic, but is wonderful in some other way. What are you thinking about? Our second graders decided on Alex the Wizard from TV. This magical helper is going to give your main character all the things that they need, for many of our Cinderella characters, that's meant a particular outfit, some very special shoes, and a way to get to the event. What's the big event in your story? And what special things might they need for it? You don't have to include something that they wear on their feet, but you do want something that they'll lose at the event. Otherwise, how will we find them again to give them their happy ending? What are your ideas? Cool. Our second graders decided on a concert, so they gave Skyrella a mini skirt, open-toed black boots, and a pair of wings so she could fly there. Pause the video if you want to write out this whole paragraph for yourself. Here's our example with our second graders' ideas inserted. Then, thanks to Alex the Wizard, the young woman got a mini skirt, open-toed black boots, and wings so she could fly to the concert. Let's look at the next section. She danced all night with the prince. But then she had to leave when the time was up. She ran away, but the prince got her footwear. Now that they've made it to the big event, what are they doing there? Are they dancing like our Cinderella characters before or something else? 
our second graders decided that Skyrella danced all night and they added that Janet Jackson invited her to dance on stage. Well, how did your main character know that it was time to leave? Cendrillon left because the clock struck midnight. Yeshen and Beacon saw their families. Our global Cinderella heard the rooster crow. What about your cinder person? Our second graders decided that her family saw her dancing on stage. The rest of these we can fill in from things we already know. But remember, like our second graders did, you can always expand this story if you want to tell us more about what happened. Pause the video if you want to write out this whole paragraph for yourself with your ideas. Skyrella danced all night with Janet Jackson, and Janet invited her to dance on stage. But then she had to leave when her family saw her. She ran away, but Janet Jackson got one of her black boots. Let's keep going. The prince searched all over, looking for who would fit the footwear. He even asked the young woman's stepmother and stepsisters to try on the shoe. Then he spied the young woman and asked her to try. The footwear fit perfectly. This section is all full of things we already know, but you can always feel free to add more details. Is there more you want to say about how the prince character had to search? Or what happened when the step characters tried on the shoe? Here's how my draft looks after plugging in my characters and items. Janet Jackson searched all over, looking for who would fit the open-toed black boot. She even asked the young woman's stepfather and step-siblings to try on the boot. Then Janet spied Skyrella and asked her to try. The boot fit perfectly. Pause the video and draft your fifth section now. Then let's get our ending. They were married and lived happily ever after. Whatever your cinder person wanted, now is the time to let them have it. And if you want to add even more details, you could tell us about their new life. You could also tell the reader about what happened to the step characters. Did they also get a happy ending? Or maybe not. Here's the example our second graders came up with. They performed together from then on and lived happily ever after. But Skyrella's stepfather and step-siblings moved to an island where they were all alone and had to do everything for themselves. Pause the video and write out yours too. Now, it's time to go back and reread our draft. If there's anything we don't like or that doesn't make sense, no big deal. We can revise. Pause now if you want to keep revising. Add your illustrations. How did it go? I wish I could read your story. You're so creative. Now I'm going to draw some pictures to go along with it, one for each section. I don't have a lot of art supplies, but that's okay. We can be creative with whatever we have. Pause the video if you want time to work, then let's come back to share our stories and say goodbye. Curtain up! Once upon a time, in a skyscraper in New York City, there was a girl who lived with her mean stepfather and three mean, ugly step-siblings. They made her clean the whole building inside and out and treated her badly. Because she lived in a skyscraper, they called her Skyrella. One day, Janet Jackson announced that she was searching for a backup dancer at a concert at Madison Square Garden. The young woman wanted to go, but her stepfather told her she couldn't and made her fix everything that was broken in the skyscraper instead. Then, thanks to Alex the Wizard, the young woman got a miniskirt open-toed black boots and wings so she could fly to the concert. Skyrella danced all night with Janet Jackson, and Janet invited her to dance on stage. But then she had to leave when her family saw her. She ran away, but Janet Jackson got one of her black boots. Janet Jackson searched all over, looking for who would fit the open-toed black boot. She even asked the young woman's stepfather and step-siblings to try on the boot. Then Janet spied Skyrella and asked her to try. The boot fit perfectly. They performed together from then on and lived happily ever after. But Skyrella's stepfather and step-siblings moved to an island where they were all alone and had to do everything for themselves. Curtain down. Try this at home. You are a very creative artist and you can use our three tools to write stories. In the beginning of your story, help your audience to see where and when the story takes place. In other words, S-E-T-T-I-N-G, where and when is the setting? And now that we know our story's setting, our audience wants to know, who's that? C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R, -A -A -E character. And once we know where and when and who, tell us, 
What happens? P L O T. Plot, 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 plot. I hope you enjoyed writing and illustrating this Cinderella tale. Don't keep it to yourself. Stories are meant to be shared. And who doesn't love to hear a good tale? Share it with your family, your friends, or the whole world on the internet. Time to say goodbye. Thanks so much for joining me and for all of your great work. Let's give ourselves a giant round of applause. <laughs> Wishing you a great day and see you soon from all of us at Arts for All. See you later. It Yay. was really fun. I really Thanks enjoyed for coming. That. Thanks.